Nurses are learning a new method to help them ease a patient's fear of needles. It will cut down training time and even allow real-time feedback from virtual patients. Okay, can I verify your IC number? Patient Tan Akao is having a small tube inserted into his vein so that he can receive his medication. This procedure is known as intravenous or IV cannulation. While this is a common treatment at hospitals, learning to administer it could prove daunting. Even though I had my uh, training, because I was nervous, um, and then when I approached the patient, then I think both of us were nervous also. So when I actually uh, cannulate the patient, right, it wasn't successful, unfortunately. As a nurse, I don't want to inflict pain on a patient. IV cannulation training is usually done with a silicon arm mould like this one. In the new training program, nurses practice on a 3D printed hand. The artificial hand mimics the texture of human skin and veins. Nurses can even interact with a virtual patient. Ouch. A pressure sensor glove helps nurses gauge how deep they should place the IV. They can even get real-time feedback by striking up a conversation with the virtual patient. So when we talk to the patient, avatar is like talking to a real patient and then the nurses can practice on their communication skills. We also have the dashboard also. It is much more objective and then we can see the gameplay that the nurses do. They get to learn exactly what they have done not correctly or what they could have done better. So with that data and with that results, they can actually improve themselves. There are plans to expand such training methods to other types of medical procedures. We could actually vary the different um, vein structure uh, using you know, the, the design of the veins uh, itself and also the different materials. So we can mimic uh, a young person's hand, we could mimic a fragile hand from a senior person, um, and all of this would then create different levels of challenges for the trainee. The Singapore General Hospital and its partners are launching an enhanced version of this training program by the end of this year. It will be adapted for future training procedures like blood collection and chest tube insertion.